If you see a complicated diagram like this, stay calm and know that it is a moment's question. A non-uniform rod, means it's fat on one side and thin on the other, has a mass of 100 grams. Oh, this is important. Where's the mass? Where's the weight of the rod? You would usually say it acts on the center of gravity of the rod. So this would be the weight. Okay, so keep that in mind. 0 0.1 kg times 9.81. Anyway, let's continue. Length of 50 cm, supported by chain. The rod is held in equilibrium. Equilibrium means there is no net force and there is no net moment. It's not going to rotate. It's just going to chill there. Mass of 60 gram is hanging on the other side. So this is considered like a force downwards, which is the weight of this 60 gram mass, which will be 0 0.06 times 9.81. Okay. Uh, what are we supposed to do? Center of gravity is distance d from the left hand end. What is the value of d? Okay, so this is a moment in equilibrium question. First step, choose a pivot point. The natural pivot point is this part. It's like you hang something, is this going to pivot apart that point? So that we're going to use that as a pivot. So what, what will the forces do to this rod? Where will it rotate? Let's look at the first one here. So this weight of the rod will cause this rod to rotate anti-clockwise. So it's going to cause it to turn like that. Okay, And that is called one side of the force. The other force here will cause the rod to rotate this way, which is clockwise. So if you write out the whole working, it, it looks something like this. Clockwise moment or torque equals to anti-clockwise moment. So your clockwise moment will just be the... The, the, the mass pulling it off. So you can write that down as 0 0.06 times 9.81. Very nice. Equals to anti-clockwise moment is what? Oh, weight. Okay, so you take the weight, 0 0.1 times 9.81. Multiply by... Oh, we forgot the distance. Oh, I forgot. So here is 25. Ah, yeah, 25 cm. If we keep everything in cm, we can just continue in cm lah. Since the final answers are also in CM. Okay, then the other one is you need to include the, the distance as well, right? So what is the distance between here and here? They didn't give a distance. But we do know that it could be mm, 25 minus D. Okay, 25 is ha half of the rod. So 25 minus D will give you that length that we want. So we can write that as 25 minus D. Something like that. Okay, so if you calculate everything, you should get about 10 cm. I kind of skipped some steps to do. I did the calculation already, so it wouldn't take too long. But this is how you can think of this. So 10 cm will be the distance D, which is not the distance with the pivot, but distance from the end of the rod. Okay, so that's how you can think of scary looking rods like this. Stay calm and remember how to do your moments. Remember what is equilibrium. That is all for this question. I will see you in the next one.